Hello all, I am really excited to launch our advanced exercises section. So currently we have capture the flag listed and we have one server. In the coming days, we are going to have dozens of them in there. So click on server one and this brings us to this interface. Now we have two choices for our attacker machine while playing the CTF. The first choice is we end up getting a GUI based Kali machine and the second choice is we have a terminal based Kali machine. So actually let's look at the GUI based one first. So here it is. Now make sure you read through the lab description very very carefully. Let's start the lab. Now all the scenario, every single detail is actually mentioned here in the description. So the lab takes a couple of seconds to start and what this will give you is a full-blown Kali system which you can access over the browser. And that system is actually part of a larger network where you have the victim machine. So in this description, if you note, it's clearly mentioned the victim machine would have the IP address 192xy.3, where x and y are going to be you know, some random addresses. So let's open up the Kali machine, which is our attacker machine. And voila, we are inside the attacker machine. So this is your full-blown Kali system, just like you're used to, you know, kind of playing and used to it. Uh, you can go ahead, open up a terminal. And what we can do is first figure out our IP addresses. So here it is, IP ADDR. And we have one interface which has 192XYZ, which is 192.642 in this case. And the description already mentions that the victim machine is on dot three. So let's just try to ping it. So we have ping 192.6.40.3. So as you can see, we can ping it. Let's actually do a quick nmap scan to see what is actually running on the system. So nmap various different options. scan all the ports and while this is running keep in mind that you can pretty much launch any of your GUI based tools like you've done so as an example let's actually start burp you can see in the meantime that our uh, network scan is done let's minimize this window so let's click OK and now burp will start so next start burp right and everything works just perfectly. Currently our servers are based in the US. Within a week we should have them, not probably within a week, maybe within a month we should have them all over the world. And hence you might not have too much of lag uh, if you're located you know, very far away from the US. So the best part really is you have your full Kali container available over here and you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, let's go ahead stop our Kali GUI attacker machine. And what we're going to look at next is the terminal based attacker machine. So the difference is in the previous case, we actually had Kali running in its full glory. Now instead, we are going to have a terminal through which we can once again log into a Kali box or rather the terminal belongs within a Kali box and you have access to all your tools or whatever you require. Now keep in mind, both of these finally lead you to the same lab environment. So you can juggle between both of these different attacker machines, uh, you know, use the terminal one if probably you're in a place where you don't have too much bandwidth or you're actually seeing a lot of lag with the GUI container. Later on, when we allow people to upgrade, at that point, you might be able to run both of these at the same time as well. Currently, because we want you to play ball with all the other users, we've made sure that you can only run one at a time just so that a lot of people get to use these labs. Okay, so let's run this. Now the important thing to note is the description is the same, the lab is the same, just a different way of accessing the lab as an attacker. So this is going to take a couple of seconds as well. And definitely make sure that you go ahead and click on the feedback icon over here and give us feedback based on what you're seeing in the lab. This is very important 
will allow us to understand the different problems you are facing and improve our product. Okay, so this is launched, let's click. And as you notice, this opens up a terminal and this is really a terminal inside a Kali box. So you can once again see that we have an IP address in the 192 range. Dot two is where we are and we know that dot three is our target box based on the challenge description. And we should be able to run in map, etc. Now with the terminal, of course, you can go ahead and you know open up multiple terminals as well. There's really no limitation here. So you could actually have multiple terminals running and you can run like different tools in different terminals, right? With the GUI session, of course, you can only have one because you're controlling the GUI of the box. So it doesn't really even make sense to have multiple. Fantastic. So that's all for this very quick introduction into our capture the flag section. Keep checking, we are going to be putting in a ton of these servers, uh, multiple ones every week. And I would love to hear your feedback. So please make sure you leave feedback, even if we aren't around to immediately respond to you, uh, we will come back right uh, to you and you know, uh, respond to you. That's all. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy this.